Minecraft, the most played game of all time. And a game that's been remaked and has got so many clones in nearly every single game engine, such as Unreal, Unity, Godot, Scratch, and Construct Free. Well, not exactly. For Construct to be the only game that's not got a Minecraft clone just feels such a shame to me. It's such an iconic, legendary game. So I thought I'm going to sit down and I'm going to be the first to design one. I had a tutorial for a 2D terrain generator and during that video I said that it's not possible to create a 3D version of Minecraft. It kind of is, but it is so laggy that the game becomes unplayable. So when I thought about approaching this challenge, I thought it's got to be a 2D. So I looked at designing a 2D clone of Minecraft. I looked at the scratch example to help me out. But if you've seen the title of this video and you've seen the thumbnail, you know that I banned this idea because I had a bit of a brainwave. Now I used to play Minecraft a lot, but I only had a bit of a crappy laptop. So I needed a way to reduce the lag down significantly. And the way I did that was not by changing all my settings down to the minimum or downloading any mods. It was with a single map, Skyblock. The most iconic, most downloaded Minecraft map of all time. Now this is something that is achievable inside the Construct engine. So I thought I'm going to take a week away from my normal videos, which is turned at about two, two and a half at this point, and make a prototype. So I'd like to introduce my version of Minecraft in Construct Free, my version of Skyblock. So this is my version of Skyblock. So if we have a little walk around, we haven't got much room to walk around first of all. You can see we've got a little platform here, we've got our tree, we've got a sun that's starting to rise, and then we've got a block of cobblestone. Now this block of cobblestone is our cobblestone generator. I haven't got water or lava, there's quite a lot missing from this still. This is very much a work in progress, as you'll find out, but it just gives you an idea what's possible and that something like Minecraft can be made inside of Construct, which is something I've not seen before. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off the islands to give you a better view of it. So if I look up and pop myself off, you can see our little island there. And once we fall so far, it will just pop us back onto our little island here. So first thing you would have noticed is that this 3D cursor that's moving around the screen. And this just tells me where I'm looking, which block I'm going to place and what block I'm going to break. It's a really, really useful cursor here. One of the drawbacks of this is to do with the mouse pointer. So you can see I've got my mouse here that I can use to drag and drop items around. So I can place these in different areas. One of the problems I've got though is if I move my mouse to the left hand side and move up my inventory, you see my mouse cursor goes to the far left as well. And now it's off slightly. And this is because of how we can get a mouse pointer during web based games. We can't pick where the mouse is, it takes the mouse to the last position. So this is one of the things I don't like about this at the moment. So if you get in this position, you actually have to tab out, move your mouse to the center, and then put it back. That works fine. This is something that I haven't got a fix for at the moment because it seems like it's a limitation of actually web-based products, web-based games, and not actually anything to do with construct. So a bit of a drawback there, but the cursor works really, really well. If I go to this wood block, Let's actually start by trying to break a block. You see I get the animation starting to play. Really simple animation of breaking a block. And if we take something like a leaf block, and I try and break that, really, really quick time. Okay, so time differences are there. Speaking of time differences, right on cue, our sun has disappeared and our moon is starting to rise. So we've got a very, very simple day-night system that's been implemented. So it will slowly go dark and the moon will rise and the sun will disappear and then we get vice versa as well. So as we're doing that, let's try and break a wood block. You'll see I've got some wood in my inventory already. The leaf and the sapling I didn't, so these got placed in the next available slot. So I'm scanning all the slots to work out which one's free and is there any items. If we break a wood block, you'll see there's our wood block item there. We'll break one more. They'll slowly sink down, and then if I get close enough, they'll get pulled towards me. And they'll be added to my inventory. There we go. Now, you'll notice that they are sinking into the ground. Trying to get the block to stay on the ground has actually been one of the worst challenges 
to do when making this and um, I'll show some examples on the screen I'm sure of what happens if I use the same code I'm using to get the plates down the ground get some really weird bugs so there are some some challenges working in 3d inside of construct definitely but apart from that we can start breaking stuff and these blocks will fly towards us so a really really simple magnet system to pull them towards us once we're in range if you're not in range they won't come towards you um, as I can demonstrate with this cobblestone block here so if I move across and try and click there so this one it's not close enough to me so it won't go it's just going to slowly fall down once this blocks respawn there we go we can see it slowly falling down only from close enough to it will it be dragged towards now one thing you would have noticed already in this clip with this 3d cursor is it's a little bit clunky still again there's no 3d logic or there's very little 3d logic inside of construct so all of it i've had to create basically from scratch so that's why it's a little bit clunky sometimes you have to move to the side to get the mouse cursor in the right place but it's workable and that's what i wanted i want something workable and i fell off the screen so you get a really really clear idea about where we're roughly at and again i can break these blocks here and move down to break the rest but well, placing blocks then so i guess the first thing we should place is our sapling because that's going to take some time to grow so i've got my sapling i'm going to use zero to nine to move between the items and i'm going to click to place my sapling so there's my little sapling there it doesn't have any collision or anything on so we can walk over it just like in the real thing it breaks really really quickly and there we go we're now moving back today so the sun's coming up and this will take between 20 seconds and two minutes to grow so i wait for that to grow i'm going to grab my wood planks and i'm going to start building a slightly bigger platform because i've got a tendency to fall off this one so let's move this one here and another thing as well is that with this 3d cursor again there's no 3d logic so simple stuff like checking if there's a block already there and then moving the cursor back one is actually really tricky to do so it can be a bit tricky to place blocks at times especially when they're just in front of you but we can place bro uh, blocks about and there we go as our tree grown and once we get rid of all of them then that's it it disappears out of our inventory so here's our tree so we can grab some wood like so so we can now place blocks, we can break blocks. What else can we do? Well, we can do some crafting. So I'm going to start, and this was a little bit bugged when I tried it earlier, so let's try it again. I'm going to drag this item around. I can drag this to any slot and let go, like so. And all I want to do is drag it over these green squares, and it's going to place it. And wood blocks seem to be a little bit bugged. So I'll see if I can fix that before this goes live on the arcade, where I'm planning to put this so you can play it once you've watched this video. So let me do a quick refresh and let's have a go at wood planks because they are working. So I've got my wood planks, I'm going to drag them up and the way this works is you just drag it over the green square which the green square will disappear by the time you get to play this and if it's there for over a second it will place an item. Now currently it's not taking anything from the stack, that's something that will come later on again this is a work in progress but it's placed the items there and I get my crafting table. When I click on my crafting table, it'll look for the next available slot and it'll place it there. So, slot one. Currently, it says we've got 10 and it says we've got zero wood there. And for some reason, the wood planks have disappeared. Um, if we just refresh, you'll see that we've only got one crafting table. Again, there are some bugs around the inventory. This is definitely not meant to be a full playable game yet, but more of a concept of what we can do. Let's right click on our crafting table so you can see if I try and click anywhere else, nothing happens. If I go on normal crafting, nothing happens. But if I right click on the crafting table, I do get the extended crafting interface. And I've also added a furnace recipe. So again, I'm just going to drag over these squares and it will make me a furnace. If I move too quickly, it won't place one. So that's how we can get to the middle square. And if I place something in the middle square, you see that we've no longer got a furnace. And I can just click to remove that and there we go we've got furnace the furnace is not working at the moment this is something I do want to add but we can obviously craft the furnace now and we can place it so we can place a furnace in our world so that about wraps it up for what this demo can do and to give you an idea about minecraft and 3d construct is possible it's 
not perfect, but it is not too far from a finished product. So I tend to continue with this, add stuff like water, lava, maybe chests. And yeah, this will be a project that will be ongoing, but it's going to be on the arcade for you to play. I'm going to be releasing the video later in the week to show you a full code breakdown. So if you're a bit more curious about how the rest of this code works, how every system was created from crafting to a day and night cycle like this, and some of the intricates of 3D game design, then look out for that video. And in that video, I'll also give you a copy of this code. So you can have a look at it in a bit more detail yourself. For now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It's definitely one of my longer videos that it's took to make trying to program all this together. Subscribe for more construct videos, and I'll see you in the next one.